Okay, we just left the right point lookout area right there behind us. And now we are tuning on the Crater Lake. We definitely got to get some elevation going here. So we're at 5,000 feet. We really need to be climbing. Whoops, I hit the wrong button and it changed everything. Okay, I have to go back and fix it. So, anyway, that is, we're seeing parts of the rim there. The Crater Lake National Park, it was Mount Mazama originally, and it erupted, I don't know how many years ago. And this mountain would have been humongous. It's already humongous, but it would have been a lot taller for sure. So let's get elevation going here and let's hit control. And one should put us back. Yes, it puts us back where we're at. So I probably need to be up there around 7,500 7, feet. So we'll just continue to climb and get closer to Crater Lake National Park. Okay, we are over 8,000 feet and climbing really good and steady. We're just right at 16 knots. Doing okay. And we are getting some elevation here. Let's see White Point way back there. So. I am seeing Mount Scott, which is the highest part of the rim. I drove my car right past it in 15 feet. And this is a rim here. Where this is probably Lilo Rock, Lilo Rock, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. What are we doing here? Up pretty high. I think this little peak here, right there, is going to be human. So this is really vast out here, just really, really beautiful. Another thing I want to do today, after we fly the rim, is I want to try to fly over Mount Theos in the video and uh, trying to fly over the top of Mount Theos. I don't think we can see Theos. That is likely fit way back there. It's a long ways away. And Mount Bailey is going to be here. And that would be Theos in there. And Diamond Lake would be right in the top. Okay, we can start to see some water there. And we're at 9,000 feet. I think we can kind of let the little stick a little bit. And the plane just wants to turn. I'm seriously considering coming up here in the first week of January, which is right in the middle of winter. This place gets a tremendous amount of snow. But in January, we're going to be, the business is going to be closed for two weeks, tentatively for a bunch of construction. And usually, the two weeks will end up being three or four. We're going to do a bunch of uh, remodeling. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm thinking of coming up here, but January is probably. There could be 25 feet of snow up here on top. It's kind of an average of this. So when I did the Rim Road Drive in 2015, I really enjoyed it, but the road was really rough. And it's only open during the summer. During the winter, it's completely closed, and you can't even... It's just... They can't plow it. I mean, it's just too much. It goes completely around the rim. It's just so beautiful, and I can see Wizard Island already sticking up. Find the lodge area, and then just go around the same way I did in 15 and 
same guard to the coast. I really have a I really love the crater lake, but I've been to it so many times that it's actually boring. There's like nothing new there. It's boring. But it's absolutely stunning and beautiful. You can just imagine how big and tall this mountain was back in the day before the eruption. Now Wizard Island is becoming pretty cool. We're probably descending a little bit, but that's fine. See the pilot? Up at screen. Showing that really prominently. So we'll probably make a pretty good thumbnail. All right, well, this is the lodge right here. You can see it right down below there. So let's make a turn. I can remember when I first started coming up here when I was in my 20s, the lodge was abandoned. And I pulled it up. It was a mess. Okay, here we go. We're going to take the rim road. I'm just going to follow this along. Okay, so the rim road is pretty windy. And as I said, it was really rough. You'd come around a corner and there'd be potholes everywhere. There's Wizard Island. The middle of this looks pretty authentic. So it doesn't travel the complete rim road, or the rim, but it's pretty close. There's all kinds of places to pull over and sightsee. This is a, this is called the Lookout Mountain, and there is an actual lookout here, so we're going to cruise over it and not crash. I've been up to that with a friend years ago. I don't know if it's this top has, yeah, I think it does. 500 lady again? Yeah, I think that was it behind me. There would be a, a lookout there. Not really a fire lookout for the lookout. This is going to go really fast. No, goodness, that was pretty tight. <laughs> So anyway, it's really beautiful if you have a chance to come up here during the summer and drive the Rim Road and maybe the same watch. That's kind of what I wanted to do come um, in January. But I'm pretty sure the lodge will be closed and everything else because of snow. But that's really the only opportunity. So that road off to the left is going to take us to Diamond Lake. It's just another entrance to the room, but it'll be closed to see the snowstorm. So this is Lilo Rock, or Lilo Rock, a big prominent rock that stands out. You see Diamond Lake off there in the distance. And it should be Mount Theosin straight ahead, uh, kind of off to the left, the snow covering. And then Bailey up over there. Mount Theosin is a good thing that should have been that. <clears throat> Anyway, I think I'll save the going to Mount Theosin for the next video. This one's going to be plenty long enough. It's going to have to be a two or three parter. I know when I drove this rim road in the car, I kept seeing Wizard Island out there. And it was like it was following me around and it made it really confusing. Because I could, just couldn't tell where the heck I was at the whole time. The only way I could tell was by seeing Mount Scott off there in the distance. But it was confusing. You can see how close the rim road is to the edge. It's just 
absolutely beautiful. They do allow some people to you know, park the RVs and so forth and so on. Parking out there, it goes a landing strip, and it's parking out. This looks like one of the trails down into the car there. Right? So, back over here. Yeah, I know 500 lady. You know what I mean. Anymore. We're practically around this thing already. It took me probably two hours to drive this in the car because I kept stopping. <laughs> kept stopping, set my camera up. You can see there's a little spot down there where you can go over and park and just enjoy the absolute beauty of this wonderful volcano. Picnic tables everywhere. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to go. And it gets so much snow. As I, I think I said, uh, about 25 feet of snow can happen up here during the winter. So the road is just horribly uh, abused by that. And that's why it takes such a bad disrepair. And they were working on it when I came up here. They had uh, various road construction things going on. So there's a little way... Oh, come on, lady. Um, take that road to the left. We'll take you out to a nice little spot. Oh, no, the road's going to turn here. So this is Mount Scott. This is the highest part of the rim. Oh, my goodness. I'm not doing too good here. Let's fly over Mount Scott. I have never hiked Mount Scott. And I am not sure if I'm going to make that. Oh, I'm down on the... My speed's so low, I'm going to start stalling here. Oh, no! Oh, no! I know, I know. This will make a good fun of my guess. I wasn't quite prepared for, uh, for that, but we got through it. So anyway, you can drive, uh, there's various places to go park, get closer. I see a road there. Oh my goodness, this is just like fighter jet stuff. <laughs> Not really. Okay, we're going to get straight back now. So we're uh, about three quarters of the way around. This was a lot funner than I thought it would be, honestly. So there's another road that will take off and head to Klamath, which is going to be... You can see far in the distance a humongous lake. That's kind of lake. I don't like Klamath, but Klamath Falls at all. It's a town over there. Uh, absolutely no reason to visit Klamath Falls. It's pretty high up, so it gets really cool. So now the Rim Road basically goes away. It's no longer on the Rim. It'll go down to the village. But we're going to go for it and just cheat. Since we're on the freeway for this, it's a Union Peak in the distance, and then off to the left is Mount Dolphin, which I have climbed twice in my life. Oh, 500 ladies going to come out from here. Anyway. There she is. All right, and now we're back. It should be awesome. 
I was going to say this will be the uh, the lodge area, but now we need to get over this big peak here. Oh no! I'm going to make it. I think I will. Just barely. So just on the other side of this should be the, the lodge. Okay, yeah, I can see the village down there. That's where the road comes out. Oh, I know. I know. So this is going to be, oh, the lodge area. Oh, no. Oh. So we're gonna, okay, we're going to just do a quick blow by the lodge. I'd really like to stay there in January. Sure, they will be closed. Okay, we made the trip around Greater Lake National Park. So it's time to start heading towards Mount Fielsen. Out there in the distance somewhere. And that will be in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.